This marks the final chapter of our online course on RFM6 for beginners. In this video, we will explore the printout report and the documentation of the structural analysis. The printout report in RFM6 has undergone extensive revision, incorporating new functions. To create a new printout report, use the data navigator or the button in the toolbar. The newly created printout report appears in a dialog box, allowing you to rename it. The tree structure in the center mirrors the data navigator, providing an overview of all data that can be included. Additional options such as numbering or descriptions are available on the right. A new feature is the copy option, enabling customization of the report by copying desired entries. In our case, we keep everything as default, then click save and display to view the report. In the dialog box, find the table of contents in the usual tree structure and the generated printout report in the center. Clicking on any entry in the table of contents gives access to the selected chapter. However, graphical data must be entered separately. To import the graphical data, close the printout report and set the desired view of the structural model. Note that the graphic transferred is a mirror image of what is shown in the work window, so turn off any unwanted elements. In this case, only the model graphic is desired, so turn off all loads and results. Optionally, we can add dimensions automatically by going to the display navigator, and under guide objects, dimensions we can check on automatically generated. Once satisfied, open the print menu to print the current graphic, create a PDF file, add it to the printout report, and more. Before importing the image into the report, a preview is provided. RFM6 introduces the ability to integrate a 3D PDF file into the printout report, enhancing the viewing experience. In the dialog box, set further options for the graphic, such as resolution, scale, text size, and more. Once satisfied, include the selected graphic in the printout report by confirming the dialog box. As an alternative, we can activate the multi-print option to import several graphics at once with defined settings. New categories appear as tabs where you can select desired graphics. We will skip the first two tabs and go directly to the results category. We can now here select the results desired and if applicable, the loads and combinations. Additionally, find results of the steel design in the add-ons tab. Confirm the dialog box to view the graphic in the printout report. Picture symbols now appear in the table of contents where graphics are inserted. The menu bar provides additional options such as report language, cover sheets, page setup, and more. The finished file can now be printed or exported as a PDF file. We've reached the end of our tutorial series and we hope you enjoyed learning new things and we look forward to your feedback. Keep in mind that you can download the free 90-day RFM6 trial version to explore all the new features. Until next time.